I was told I have to get wired up, so I, <laughs> this way, not the other way. So um, I would like to give you some comments, um, just a brief bio of our soloist before we begin. Uh, Eric Dean, our soloist, is a retired corporate executive who originally studied piano at Indiana University with George Bolet, who is a very fine uh, pianist and teacher. And then graduated with a math degree, which led to his career implementing some of the world's first large computer systems used in global business. Born in Boston, raised in New Mexico, and educated in Indiana. He settled in Chicago in 1979, where he eventually became chief information officer for Arthur Anderson and then for United Airlines. He moved to Rockford when he married his wife, Pat Michelson, in 2004. In retirement, Eric continues to play piano and also enjoys reading philosophy. Don't get into an argument with him. <laughs> and working on his two-acre garden that Pat has been developing in the Four City for 30 plus years. And um, I have personally worked with him a couple of times, and he is a joy to work with. A wonderful pianist, and I think that you're going to enjoy this. Now, briefly, I would also like to mention that this is a, a, a great piece for me because this was one of the very first piano concertos that I was fortunate enough to conduct. So, kind of full circle. So, let's introduce Eric Dean.
very brief comments. Number one, this is another first. When I was a wee lad, my brother was playing Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles downstairs, and my parents had a wonderful collection of classical music. And Sibelius Finlandia was one of those pieces. One of the first. The other thing, and I think this is a first as well, is that I left someone very important off the program. And it is our tubaist. Is that a word? <laughs> Arnie Rosen, I am so grateful that he is playing tuba with us. But inadvertently, I left his name off. Freudian slip, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I'm glad that he's here. So, Sibelius Finlandia.
kill time while Jim tunes the timpani, right? Yes. Okay, okay. No, we're really here to talk about you and how 35 years ago, Mike Beard came to Rock Valley College. He taught music theory, taught music history, and a whole boatload of music appreciation courses for heaven only knows how many hundreds and hundreds and maybe... In this room. Well, that's, yes, and then they moved to a smaller room where he only had 40. So it could have been even the thousands. But the music theory students, some of them went on to get degrees in music, returned to teach in the area schools, and had great careers in music, uh, coming out of the music theory class. But the ones in the music appreciation classes are the ones that are really interesting, because they had to take humanities courses, and so Mike got selected. And sometimes I'm sure you wondered, why are they there? But then, you could be out in the community, you could have been at Walgreens, could have been at the grocery store or the gas station, and somebody would come up and say, hi, Mr. Beard, you remember me? I was in your world music class. And you know, sometimes you do, for whatever reason. But then they went on to say how being in that class changed their whole approach to music and what it is they like to listen to and how they went on to appreciate it more and more just because they took a class they didn't even want to take. And that's something to really feel good about. But you really came to Rock Valley College because not too many years before you came, a string program was added to the Rock Valley Music Ensembles. And it was a string ensemble, and it was getting going, getting going. Uh, it was doing OK. But then Mike came and put a little more into it, and he even added woodwinds, brass, and percussion, because we wanted to be able to play some of the other orchestral music that had the full orchestra sound that you hear so often. And for the last 35 years, I've been doing that, and this is the result. And you, should, and you should know, this ensemble is made up of Rock Valley College music students and people in the community from all walks of life who have one thing in common. They've been playing a musical instrument, they've developed some skill on it, and you can only practice in your practice room for so long. It's fun to get together with people and play this kind of music. And these ensembles give them the chance to do that and for 35 years, they've had the opportunity to work with Mike playing some really wonderful music like you're hearing tonight. And it's been just a joy. I know that we look forward to these weekly rehearsals and become friends and a family, and it's just an awesome experience. And that's what it's been all about. So Mike, we know you may be moving on to doing some other things, and maybe this will be the last time on this podium, but somehow I don't think you'll never get on a podium again. So from all of us in the orchestra, we have a little remembrance of us and something that you can use down into the future. <laughs> Rock Valley College and Community Orchestra, 1987 to 2022, thanks for the melodies. sticking around town after yes. retirement. I don't know why he's doing that. But uh, all of us from the area know that once in a while you need to get out of Rockford. <laughs> yes. yes. So um, you've had so, I should have got a bigger thank you card because wow, we had a lot of people wanting to wish you well. So um, from all of us, 
um, we have something special for you. It is a check to get out of town. <laughs> so, hopefully, yes, hopefully with your wife. <laughs> and we'd like to present that to you on behalf of all of us from past and current orchestra members. And we also have a couple things to go with that. Um, after the concert, we'll give you that. Okay. So, congratulations. Thank you so much. Mary Beth. Comments brief because we have a concert still to do. But um, you know, it's not about me. Yes, this was a bucket list thing that I wanted to do was to develop this orchestra, and I'm very proud of what you see up here. But it's it's about you as the audience. Many of you are family members of the people that are playing up here, and it's really about these people up here. As Jack said, this is about everybody that plays an instrument, and they should have the opportunity to play that with their peers, their colleagues, their friends, or new friends. And uh, so over 35 years, I mean, yes, there's been a lot of people that leaving get through this group, and uh, they're all welcome. And hopefully I will even get some, some people to come back after a little while. Um, that's. I remember one cellist that hadn't played in 35 years, and he decided to come back to this group. And he contributed. And that's what these groups here at Rock Valley are about. They're really about the people in the ensembles. And yes, I'm facilitating that to happen, but it's really about them, and it's really about you. And I have some people in this group that have been loyal for some unknown reason, they've been with me for 35 years, right, Karen? Yeah, and there's a few others that have been here longer than 30 years. Uh, if th there are any of those, would you please just hold up your hand, you long timers? There's John, one of my angels, and, and uh, Bill, and Karen. And I know that there's a couple of others out there. They're just too shy, but um, it's been a joy. It's been a real joy. And if you like this concert, come back and hear us in the park, Mississippi Park, on August 2nd. That will be my last final reel on the podium. And I'll get to use my new baton then. <laughs> so uh, please join us in the park, Mississippi Park, August 2nd, uh, for this same orchestra and also for the Music Academy students. They'll be part of that as well. So thank you for coming, and let's see, is there anything about firsts for the Greek? Oh, I think probably no. It's just a great piece. You're going to love it. All right, thank you.